Hello, my wonderful students. I welcome you to today's class. In the previous class, you were taught peace education. Today, I shall be teaching you Nigeria and the world, interdependence among nations. In this video, you shall be learning the meaning of interdependence, the various ways Nigeria interacts with other nations, and as well, we shall consider the various advantages and disadvantages of interdependence among nations. Listen to this video. Hello, my wonderful students. I welcome you to today's class. Our topic for today is Nigeria and the world, the interdependence of nations. Today we are looking at Nigeria and the world, the interdependence of nations. Before we proceed, let's look at the nursing objectives. What are those things that are expected of you to know in the course of watching and listening to this video. What are those things you must take note of? Nursing objectives. By the end of today's lesson, you should be able to one discuss the meaning of interdependence of nations. Also, you should be able to explain Nigeria's international interaction in terms of economic interaction. Also, in terms of political interaction and as well as social cultural interaction. Also, you should be able to take note of the various advantages and disadvantages of interacting with nations of the world. So, let's look at the meaning of independence of nations. What does independence of nations mean? What is the meaning of independence of nations? Independence of nations. Of course, independence of nations means the interrelationship that exists among the nations of the world. You, are, you, are, you will agree with me that no nation of the world can stay in isolation. No country can exist in isolation without interacting with other countries. No countries can live without mingling with other countries of the world. So interdependence is all about the relationship and interrelationship that exists among the nations of the world. Have you known the meaning of interdependence of nations? Does Nigeria as a country interact with other nations? Does Nigeria interact with other nations of the world? Let's look at whether or not Nigeria interacts with other nations of the world. So, does Nigeria interact with other nations of the world? The answer to that question is yes. Emphatic yes. Nigeria indeed does interact with other nations of the world. And Nigeria interacts with other nations politically, economically, socially, and even culturally. And this interaction that Nigeria has with other nations of the world is made possible because Nigeria belongs to so many international, regional, or even sub-regional organizations. Nigeria belongs to these organizations like UNO, AU, ECOWAS, OPEC, and so on and so forth. So, as Nigeria is a, a member of these of international organizations, they interact with one another and help look at each other's problems and sometimes come in to help solve one another's problems. Now, have a look at whether or not Nigeria does interact. The next question on the, it, it, that we need to face is what are the benefits for this interaction? What are the needs for interaction? What is the, what, why is interaction necessary? Let's look at need for interaction. 
the need for interaction among nations of the world. Why do nations of the world interact? There are three major reasons why countries of the world interact. And these reasons include political reason. It also include economic reason and as well as social cultural reason. So countries of the world interact because of some political reasons, some is economic and other social cultural. Let's take them one after the other. What are the political reasons why countries of the world interact with one another? What are the political reasons? What could make them interact politically? Political reason for interaction. Political reason for interaction. States, most often than not, agree to interact with one another. They form different international organizations. And in the course of forming this organization, they party with one another and ensure that there is peaceful and secured world. This organization ensures that they promote a peaceful and a secured world. So they interact politically to ensure that each of their member states live peacefully in their various states. Again, member states of this organization have certain principles governing them. So they have to abide by the principles governing these organizations. They ensure that they abide by the principles governing these organizations. So let's look at economic reason. What are the economic reasons for interaction? Economic reason for interaction among nations. Economic reason. Of course, you know that the various resources of the world are not evenly distributed. So nations interact so as to benefit from one another. They interact so as to benefit from one another. So what does what this country does not have, the country benefit from another country. What this country has, they export it to another country, and then other country benefit from it. And they also import what they don't have. So the the economic reason is just all about countries getting what they don't have from other countries. That is the economic benefit that is associated with countries interacting with one another. Also, we have social cultural reason for interaction. What does this social cultural reason for interaction mean? Social cultural reason for interaction. Social cultural reason for interaction. Of course, you are aware that Interdependence among nations helps to foster love, friendship among nations of the world. It helps to foster love and friendship among nations of the world. Sometimes, nations of the world organize competitions like football competition, and nation and countries participate in it and interact with one another. They share things in common. They benefit from each other in the area of culture, sports, musical concert, and so on and so forth. People from this country travel to the other country for sports, for to, to, to explore and experience and have contact with other people's culture and so on and so forth. Now, having looked at social cultural reason for interaction, I want you to reflect on what you have not the meaning of interdependence among nations, the various ways countries of the world interact with one another reflect and the various reasons for this interaction so that leads us to questions so you need to have knowledge of these questions what are these questions what does interdependence among nations mean what does it mean what does interdependence among nations mean again you should be able to tell me by now the meaning of political reason you should be able to explain political reason you should be able to also explain economic reason for interaction and as well as explain social cultural reason for interaction 
it should be it should be able to explain all these reasons for interaction and again you also need to know some advantages and disadvantages of this interaction among nations what are the various advantages and disadvantages when nations interact what are those things that they tend to gain what are the advantages let's look at advantages of interaction among nations of the world of course you know advantages are benefits there are those benefits that one derive what are those benefits one the benefits are so numerous there are many let's just look at some of them one peace and security another benefit another uh, advantage of interaction among nations of the world is closer relationship also we also have another advantage economic advancement also more advantages we have another one removal of interference again we have foreign aids foreign aids nations of the world interact and in the course of interaction they get foreign aids there are more advantages more advantages what are these advantages what are these advantages they include investment opportunities countries when people leave this country and visit other countries it attracts investment opportunities again there are cultural and social benefits in the area of sports uh, in the area of so many areas so many areas they, we also have establishment of political organizations we also have more advantages like spread of civilization and modernization again we have advantages like reduction of hostilities that is countries become more friendly among one another so just like these advantages there are also some disadvantages of interdependence among nations there are some disadvantages what are these disadvantages of interdependence among nations disadvantages the disadvantages of interdependence among nations are numerous but we shall look at some of them one of the disadvantage of interdependence among nations include some of the disadvantages include one cultural and social problems of course people who live in one country go to another country they can export or take some things some of their culture that are immoral to another country and then the immoral culture infiltrates into other people's world culture you also have interference of states that one is very very uh, it's very likely to happen when countries are interacting there could be interference again we also have neo colonialism especially third world countries that are depending and interacting with other developed countries can become uh, uh, dependent on them in such a way that it will even lead to neo colonialism as if they are still under their colonial masters again we also have inferior or poorly produced goods inferior or poorly produced goods what this means is that when countries are interacting among one another goods that are produced in one country that are not up to standard will be what will be exported into another country it will be exported to another country and as a result the country interacting with another country will start uh, having goods that are poorly made or inferior goods brought to them from another world country we also have control of states control of states is also another disadvantage of interactions among nations of the world control of states is also another word disadvantages another type of disadvantage so have we looked at the various disadvantages the various disadvantages of interactions among the nations of the world it is necessary for you to know that there are other things as regard to this topic and what are these things you need to know it, it that is knowing these things will help you it will help you 
And these things are involved in the assignment that accompany this nursing. So you need to consult the textbook you need to consult is DBSC, Chris, Essential Government for Senior Secondary School. You can refer to page 305 to 307. You need to know this thing by going to your textbook to consult this textbook and as well do the assignment. The assignment include you must, you should, and you should explain interdependence of nations. Again, you should explain the various reasons why Nigeria interacts with other countries of the world. So what are the reasons why Nigeria interacts with other countries of the world? Third, another question you need to answer for me in your assignment. Ensure you consult essential government for senior secondary school, page 305 to 307. Another question is discuss the advantages and disadvantages of interactions among nations of the world. Discuss the advantages and disadvantages of interactions among nations of the world. It's nice having you today and I will urge you to do your assignment and also read ahead because you have so many external examinations ahead of you. Until we meet again next time, take good care of yourselves. Bye.